Okay, so today is the day, and I'm a little intimidated, because up to this point it's been mostly taking things apart and ordering parts online, which, you know, anybody can do that. Today we're at the part where we put things together, and I've never done this before, but you're doing it with me, uh, so thank you YouTubes. <laughs> uh, here's the header, it's pretty now. Here's the block, it's nice and clean, I cleaned out with a razor blade, that surface is really clean. I shop backed out like the old head gasket pieces and whatnot that was in there. Um, so this guy is ready to go. I've got all the hoses and wires kind of figured out, so I believe I'll be able to put them all back together. And I even cleaned the engine bay. Ooh, so shiny. Another thing that's worth noting, and we'll get to this in a bit, but all the engine has to be lined up together. So this is what the block looks like when it's in number one cylinders in top dead center. So this cylinder's all the way up, okay? We cranked the big, you know, engine crank to get it that way before we took the whole thing apart, you might remember. That's what that looks like. Now this is the number one cylinder, okay, on the cylinder head, and you'll see that when we took it off, all of these are flat, whereas these uh, exhaust valves are different on these other sides, okay? So it's kind of got one stepped up and then the big one stepped up on the, the two and three. So here's what that looks like on the actual thing, because we're gonna line this up. So if you look at this cam gear, and it was the same on the stock, this is the plus 10 one, but still the same has a dot right here marking that this is where you want it to be. So, And there's also a notch here, but there is a notch down here as well, so be aware of that. But we're going to line that up with the mark uh, on the, I believe it's the valve cover, but straight up and down, and this is in top bed center for the number one cylinder. So what you've got is basically this cam is flat, this cam's up and to the right, this cam is up and to the left, and so that's what you're going to aim for uh, when you put it all back together. So it's okay if this gets turned when you're cranking this down to 44 foot, foot pounds and all that. That's fine. Just make sure you crank it back to where it's supposed to be. And if you look underneath, you'll see the number one cylinder. Those are flat. Then we've got the small one pushed out and then the big one pushed out. You can see how, how shiny and stainless steely awesome those are. So that is the way that goes. So we have our beautiful put together, ready to roll deal. So let's put it on the car. What we're going to do... Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> Alright. Well, we don't have anything else, so we'll just do it. Um, what we're going to do is set it on there. Uh, I'm going to try to do this not holding the camera because that freaks me out a little bit. Um, set the camera here. Okay. Moment of truth. Hey, baby. Dad. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Not this second. Daddy's wrestling a piece. I don't know if the rubber mallet is necessary, but those little guides to get it to fit on, it was just a little tight. So I pulled these studs, uh, the new head came with these um, basically little hex studs. Uh, I, I originally had them in here because somehow I pulled the head off with those in the original one, but uh, it was just like not lining up easily and I'm really afraid of dinging this thing. All those surfaces are perfectly mated and I just want to keep them that way. So I pulled them out. What I'm going to do now is see if I can Rethread them and line these headers up. This header. <laughs> it's not really headers since it's just the line three. Okay, that feels okay. To start. Okay, so we'll Okay, so I ran into a problem, which I would like to help you not run into, uh, and that is that the header is totally, the header studs do not want to go into the block. See, I was able to get this stud in, but and that one lined up, which I'd be able to screw in, but it'd be annoying. I couldn't get this one at all because of the curvature of this thing. So here is, first you take a cover off, there's a bolt here, 
here and then two on the sides. Uh, it's this little cover. And that allows you access to, there's three bolts that hold the header onto this, uh, what is that, a cat? So there's one there, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the easiest way I found, it's just a ginormous extension. There's one here, and there's one in the back. And so what we're gonna do is get this guy off. Now I already took this off, that might be harder for you. Could be that I've got these guys going on, but probably not, probably just that I already took this off when I painted it. So I'm gonna loosen this guy up while my phone rings. Oops. Yay! All right, let's go up top, see if it looks any better. I would now recommend that you wear eye protection when doing that because I think I got junk in my eye. Okay, so now this is loose, so check that out. Boom, thread you in. So sort of finger tight, and then I'll hit it with the Allen key in a second. This guy. Okay, so here's how we go. Uh, I've got those in there, and this worked out beautifully because now I just line it up and. There we go, hooray! So, you might have noticed, I didn't notice, that when I did that, I forgot something. I forgot the gasket, so, ah! <laughs> I'm turning into a gasket case right now because I already rebolted the whole thing. Now I'm gonna have to unbolt the whole thing because, of course, it needs a gasket, so don't do that. Well, that wasn't the worst thing ever. It's really just the three bolts and I've got the ga you know gasket lined up. Okay, so. Here's my gasket kit, taking the new gasket. Uh, it's gonna line up about like this. Obviously that's gonna be important. We don't want exhaust leaks after rebuilding the whole engine. So there we go, and we'll stick this guy on. In theory I can do this while holding the camera. Boom! Hooray! And then I'll line up the cat slash header gasket. It's looking pretty good, hooray!